how do you prepare when he's a young guy and he jumps into that kind of success real quick? You know, what do you do as a coach to kind of prepare him for that? You started Rudy literally from day one, pretty much, right? Uh, well, he came, he came, uh, he, he learned a little th few things from like books and video YouTube back then. Uh, okay. He was soft. No, I think it was. Yeah, he was a freshman and he went to the indoor nationals. He had thrown about 60 feet off two terrible turns. And uh, I met his father indoors his freshman year, indoor nationals in the armory. That was the year um, Alec Faldemeyer threw 86 feet. Oh, okay. Um, that was the year after Connor McCullough broke the national record of 93 feet, seven inches, that I think will be there forever. Um, yeah, that's, that's a massive throw. <laughs> Jesus. The, the, the funny part about that is the year before, I started coaching Alec and he threw 59 feet. And okay. then he went to nationals. He got second to Connor and he threw 79 feet. So in one year, he jumped 20 feet, which was kind of incredible, but it didn't really matter because he got beaten. Like the, the winning throw was 93 feet. So it's kind of like, <laughs> but, wow. So the next year he threw 86 feet. But anyway, getting back to the story, Rudy, uh, threw at nationals and he got last and he came up and he's like, Oh, I'm so sorry. And I said, no, 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 kid, don't worry. You're going to be fine. Come to practice and we'll start seeing you once a week. And then the next year he won it as a sophomore, he threw 74 feet. Wow. And then that was the start of his success. Yeah. And then I think he won indoors three times and he won outdoors three times uh went to the back then they had which is kind of sad they don't have any more is the world youth under yeah. seven championships yeah it, they, they scrapped that a few years ago i thought that was a great competition because uh it would like you know american kids it's all, like that was his first trip out of the country and he went to france and he made the final and that was like that gave him experience Right. The next year, he qualified for the World Juniors and the World Juniors again the next year. So, like, it was a great experience because you, you can't buy that experience of going to a major con another country for a major competition. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the call room, uh, right. call room one, call room two, walk out to the stadium, uh, two warm up throws, and then the meet starts, and you have uh i think it's a minute in between you know and you might have 20 minutes in between your first throw or 25 because one guy puts the hammer up into the cage and the officials can't take it down and then there's a ha you know all these or there's a medal ceremony and that takes another three minutes so that holds up the hammer and so it could be half an hour in between your first throw your second throw oh. Your third throw so that throws off a lot of people's rhythm and time and it's a great experience to know that's going to happen so right, uh, right. that's also like an experience as well you know? yeah for sure and how many you know how do you prepare when he's a young guy and he jumps into that kind of success real quick you know what do you do as a coach to kind of prepare him for that being that you've obviously been in some of those those situations yeah, well, yourself okay you know? so like a couple of weeks before we, we would do a qualification drill so i'd be like okay uh i'm going to be there 10 o'clock you come at 10 but you have to wait half an hour over here so he'd sit in his car warm up and i was like okay now you're going to the second call room so drive like you know drive five minutes down the other end of the road and wait there and I'll call you to come back. And I've lined the field and then he walks to the field and he's given a hammer. And then like, uh, I'll have my other guys practicing and I'll be like, okay, the line is at 75 or whatever it is. And now you have to, you got two warm ups. Okay. You ready to go. Okay. And then just as about, he's about to start. i am like, stop. And then I'll break out my phone and we'll play the national anthem of, some country and then i'm like <laughs> okay now you can go and like i try mm -hmm. and throw him off trick him because that's what 
happens in the real world. So you have to learn to just, okay, I'm going about to throw, okay, okay, now I'm not. So now I just shut down and okay, go again. It's not going to throw me off. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I have three throws and nothing else. And I, I used to have a shot clock as well. Like a, I would do the countdown. You would see it right by the circle. Okay. Um, yeah. That's how you do it. You know, and wow. you just, you, you, yep. you know, little things like that. You line the fields and um you know you make there's always like a big sector line uh vector line um right. you have to throw it over to qualify and that's your yeah. qualifying drill yeah and uh, that's that's been effective it's that's... luckily because i i went to the i went to the european championships i went to the world championships and i went to the olympic championships in uh sydney australia but i never really did well in major championships so for me, that's now instilled to try and make my kids understand that that's really, really hard to do, and that you got to know how to perform in, in the big, big in the big show. Right. You no know what it is? Nationals, the state meet. You know, yep. Lance Steele said on a podcast uh, over the summer that you know the pressure that he felt as a freshman at the state meet was the same pressure that he felt at the olympic games and it's very true mm -hmm. it doesn't matter for whatever level you're at that that meet is important that meet is stressful that meet is um important to the kid that you're coaching you have to remember that too like oh it's only a small meet like the states or something if you have a kid that went to the olympic games but for for the kid that you're coaching at his level, it's high, a high level meet. So right. then you have to prepare him the same way you would like a top guy. Yeah, no, it, you know what? I mean, I absolutely love that. I've always tried to prepare my athletes and, uh, you know, cause that's it, right. You're going to be, you're going to get less warm ups. You got to be ready to go sooner. You got to time it right. And I've always kind of stressed that I feel like, you know, preparing for a, a state meet, is probably definitely a little easier than an international meet, but like you said, it's still going to be the adrenaline factor. So if they're prepared, they're going to be able to, you know, handle, handle the situation. Mm -hmm.